by far the best investment you can make is in yourself. If you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. If I gave you a car and it'd be the only car you get the rest of your life, you, you take care of it like you can't believe it. And you scratch it, fix that moment, you read the owner's manual, you keep a garage, you do all these things, and you get exactly one mind and one and one body in this world. And you can't start taking care of it when you're 50. Just remember that you just got one mind and body to get through life with. And you know, the most important thing is really who you associate with. You want to associate with people that are better than you are. I mean, basically you'll go in the direction of the people that you associate with. And, and you want to have the right heroes. You want people, if you want to emulate somebody, you better pick very carefully who you want to emulate. And when, obviously you can't pick your parents. They're going to have enormous influence on you, but you don't get a choice on that. But you get choices as you go down the line, and you want to copy. And the most important for most people in terms of that decision is their spouse. It's also important in terms of a partner in business, a partner in life is, is the most important. You want to pick a spouse that's a little bit better than you are. They just don't realize that all you have to do is just buy a cross section of America and then never listen to people like me or read the papers or do anything subsequently. You know, that, uh, they think that because you can trade, you should trade. You buy a farm, you buy an apartment house, you can't resell it tomorrow. Now you get something handed to you, liquidity, you know, which is instant. You can sell and the, the cost of doing it are pennies you know, compared to other kinds of investment activity. So because they can so easily move around, they do move around and moving around is not smarter than investing. exactly what I like to eat. If somebody offered me a deal when I was 20 and said, you're going to live one year longer, you know, instead of living to 88, you'll live to 89 or whatever it may be. If you eat nothing but broccoli and Brussels sprouts and onions and all these things, you know, I, I just said, I'll, you know, take the last year off. It probably won't be that good anyway. You know, I mean, so I, uh, I eat exactly what I like to eat. Depends on the person. That, uh, much more than it depends on the school. Some people are going to get a lot out of advanced education and some people are going to get very little. And uh, I, I don't even think it's important that every person go to college at all. We have all kinds of jobs at 70 or so thousand a year, 80,000 a year that college training is out of use. And I actually was not keen on going to college myself. Yeah, my dad kind of jollied me into it. He could get me to do anything, but I knew I could have a good time. I liked investing and I could read the books. You know, it's a big commitment to take four years and the cost involved and maybe the loans involved and everything. I think depending on what your interests are in life, I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for a lot of people, but there ought to be a reason you're going. And I didn't really see much reason. If you get to be 65 or 70 and later, and the people that you want to have love you actually do love you you're a success i've never seen anybody that reaches that age i mean i'm not talking about somebody that's in extreme poverty or pain or something, but i've never seen anybody that if they have a lot of people that love them that is other than happy and i've seen some very very wealthy people with the testimonial leaders doing name schools after and everything there but nobody nobody loves them the best investment you can make is in yourself if you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you.